let's go kill Asmodan. Ready to die, Asmodan? Nephilim fool, when the soul stone is embedded in my flesh, the seven shall be as one within me. I will be the sum of all hells, the oh, prime yeah? evil. Like to see you try, bro. About to get an ass weapon of life of your life. Not ready yet. Arrogant Nephilim, my servants will feast on your pride as they devour your flesh. Well, what you tell yourself before you go to sleep at night? My servants will feast on your pride as they devour your flesh. Enough! The dark power of it. Arrogant Nephilim, my servants will feast on your pride as they devour your flesh. Mm -hmm. All of your kind! Now, Leah, trap Asmodan's essence within the Soul Stone. It's done. I never dared dream. All evil lies trapped within that stone. Once it is destroyed, the eternal conflict will finally end. Destroying the stone is no simple matter. There are rituals to consider. We must return to the keep and make our final preparations. Mm hmm. Do that. Any upgrades? Actually, yeah. Yes. Nope. Nope. I need to go back. Turn to Bastion's Keep Stronghold. An incredible victory. I knew Asmodan could never stand up to the likes of you. Where are Adria, Leah, and Tyrael? They are all in the armory. No doubt celebrating. You should join them.
something I can't even use. They'll always um, confuse me why they didn't just give you class specific items for quests. You already get random stuff just from playing the game out in the world. Like when you finish a quest, why not? Why don't they just give you something that you've already. Uh, or something for your class? Ooh. I thought I was going to die when I saw the demon's rage escape from the soul stone. Tyrion and my friend fought them, but I couldn't help. It was like I was watching them through a haze. What is the soul stone doing to me? Asmodan must die soon, and I will be myself again. Adria, when did you decide to betray us? Oh yeah. Twenty years ago, a great and terrible power drew me to Tristram. But Aiden, Leoric's eldest son, defeated that power and sought to contain it within his own flesh. The Dark Wanderer. It was Diablo I saw within him, and I pledged myself to his service. Now, at last, his grand design comes to fruition. <laughs> Dear Leah, Deckard always suspected your true father was Diablo himself. And now, my daughter, you shall serve as his vessel. I live, but I am more than I once was. The seven evils are now one within me. I am the prime evil. Well done, faithful Adria. Go now, until I call upon you again. Now, at last, to my true goal, the one that has always eluded me. The utter destruction of the High Heavens. Damn. Enter the portal to heaven. All right, then. Okay, Leah. In the heart of heaven. Looking a little emo. Angels can still feel fear. Enemy, you cannot hide from me. 
that for nothing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Time to kill Diablo, me thanks. Adria has betrayed us. And now, Leah is lost. From her body, Diablo has been reborn as the prime evil. The power of hell answers his call. And the heavens buckle under the weight of corruption. I will purge this evil forever. Defies all reason. Imperius, you cannot mean to face Diablo again. Your wounds are barely healed. The heavens burn. This is your fault, Imperial. And you, Nephilim, look below and see what your kind has wrought. I know how he feels, but we have to keep going. The Diamond Gates have stood since the light first broke over the high heavens. Now they lie in ruins. Imperius is right. I am the cause of this. You didn't destroy those gates. Yet I defended humanity when Imperius would have destroyed it. And now the prime evil storms heaven itself. This is not the time for doubt and weakness, Tyrion. Imperius is a fool. And if you side with him against me, you are too. But you don't understand. Hope has been silenced. We are lost. Diablo is too powerful. Always before, the lords of hell bickered and worked against each other. They undid themselves. Within Diablo, within the Prime, there is no such division. And now, the halls of the high heavens quake beneath his steps. The prime evil. I can't believe all this has come to pass. Adria played us all for fools. Diablo's influence twisted her inside and out. I suspect we have not seen the last of her. I should have known that Leah's father was the Wanderer. How could I not have sensed Diablo's foul presence within her? Adria made fools of all of us. No one could have known she'd sacrifice her own child to resurrect Diablo. But poor Leah. I grieve for her soul. As do I. Leah deserved better than this. But right now, we must stop Diablo. Yep. When you have lived as long as I, you've learned that life is filled with betrayal. But the cruelest always comes at the hands of those we love. I, I know it must be hard to think of other things, but now we must. All creation rests upon your shoulders. You sound more serious than I've ever heard you. Well, these are dark times. Even I must set apart thoughts of Dirge's jewel and dwell upon the fate of the world. But that doesn't mean you have to frown so. Hope, do not look down, my friend. Even in the darkest of times, there is always hope. Hope for a better day. Hope for a new dawn. Or just hope for a good breakfast. You start small, and then see what you can get. A good breakfast. <laughs> I never quite expected my life to end this way. How did you think you would die? 
It was smothered by a harem. Or, or uh, more likely, uh, killed by the jewel I seek. Now, who would have thought that the entire world would die together? I can't complain. It's not as though I can say my life was not long enough. While there is life, there is still hope, my friend. I'm glad my boundless confidence is rubbing off on you. Uh, could you give some of it back? All right. I need a new good ring. much better. Yeah, that's pretty I think now finally every every piece of gear that I have is 70. Right? 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70. I could make my wife's death mean something. It doesn't matter now, does it? You find meaning in how your loved ones lived, not how they died. Oh, and you're an expert on loved ones now, traveling alone your whole life. Seeking redemption for some corrupt faith, don't lecture me, Crusader. I've devoted my life to that redemption, Hadrig. Tread carefully. Uh-oh. We're about to get into it, him and I. We were gravely mistaken, my friend. I could not see through an illusion of such power, such treachery. Nor could Leah. It was not your fault. When I think of what she suffered through, we must find a way to stop Diablo. The Prophet would never forgive me if he knew my part in unleashing this terror upon the world. not see the truth. You must think me very foolish. No more than the rest of us. That is kind of you. I have devoted my life to studying the arcane, and yet I was not skilled enough to act when it truly mattered. Well, we've had a good time, right? Shame about our imminent deaths. You sound ready. You don't choose this life and expect to live to an old age. Still, it's the women I feel sorry for. Which women? All of them. There will be heaving bosoms and torn clothes all across the land when word spreads that I've fallen in battle. <laughs> okay. Do you miss your family during these times? No point in it. I'll never see them again. Why is that? My brother's wife thinks I was involved with his imprisonment and he believes her. What? As low as I am, I would never frame him. Not even to win her back. But they won't hear a word of it. For all the gold I send to them, I receive nothing in response. Sorry to hear that, my man. 
Family sucks, trust me. I know. You knew this was coming, didn't you? Of course, Cheldo. What is the point of seeing the future if you don't stop bad things from happening, Miriam? That's the point of the future, love. It keeps coming. You don't win a duel by blocking the first blow and going home. So you just let Leah die? I had to. Diablo was always going to come back. But now you are here to stop him. And in your grief and rage, you will, my Cheldo. She just let it happen. Like it's another day at the office. Oh man, you got a lot to talk about. I keep thinking of the traitor, John Dar. He had turned to evil, I have no doubt. But I wonder, would he have fallen as easily if the Order had not betrayed him? I knew he was trouble, but I said nothing. I saw his doubts, his weakness, and when he submitted to Magda, I thought my suspicions were confirmed. Perhaps... Perhaps I could have saved him before it was too late. John Dar made his choices. You can only control your own. You are right, and I choose to hold the Order accountable for John Dar's fall. Wait. Before we face that abomination, there is something you should know. When we first met, I thought you were fool. Bound to pursue a quest you cannot finish. But you have taught me that the quest itself is more important than its outcome. You have taught me a way of life. <laughs> I'm glad, friend. The knowledge will serve you well, if we survive the next few hours. Ha! <laughs> then let us be about it. Of all people, I should have seen this coming. I allowed myself to believe this, this fiction that Adria was other than I suspected her to be. And now, the world is lost, and it is my fault. We all wanted to believe that Adria would be what Leah needed. Put your guilt aside, Templar. We've demons to fight. Hoorah. Ever since Adria betrayed us, I've been thinking about how Magda used to share the leadership of the Coven with another. Explain. Twenty years ago, just before the darkening of Tristram, they had some sort of falling out, and the other leader disappeared. I think that other leader might have been Adria. Adria mm -hmm. found Diablo in Tristram, while Magda took the Coven. Or the Order. That's crazy. Crazy. Gaze upon the destruction I have wrought. It will be the last thing you see. It's got to destroy the Nephilim. I do not fear you. Nephilim, you find only death in this eternal realm.
closer to my ultimate victory. Level wrap. Let's get some more of that there strength. The ancient texts describe the terror demons as unconquerable foes. The dreams of Diablo made flesh. They appear in shadow to torment their victims, and then, in shadow, they vanish. The mere sight of one drove a Herodron to madness, leaving him screaming and clawing at his eyes until the end of his days. I am Ethereal, Archangel of Fate. It is my duty to record what is and what will be within the scroll of fate. But you, Nephilim, you are not in the scroll. Your fate is unwritten. I care little for destiny. Will you help me, or should we stand here and watch the heavens fall apart? Perhaps fate can be changed. Quickly then, Ariel, Archangel of Hope, has been captured by Ragnarok, the Lord of Despair. She will be free. Perhaps that will bring hope back to these heavens. strange document on one of the angels' bodies in the high heavens. It is very old, maybe centuries even older than I. Perhaps we should show it to Tyrion. What does it contain? I am not certain. The script is very old and foreign to me. When I saw the angel, he was dying. But even though he was in great pain, he reached out to me with the document in his hand, like he wanted me to take it. By the time I approached him, he was still. His spirit had already gone. Damn. F, bro, F. 